the version 1.1 update live stream, special live stream, whatever you want to call it, for Zenless Zone Zero has finished. And we have some pretty decent details from it from a very, very short stream. That's right, the stream was literally just 15 minutes. So today on the breakdown, we're gonna be talking about the version 1.1 special live stream and what I think is, you know, good stuff that's coming from this update. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next Zenless Zone Zero video comes out. And I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here without gamer subs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off of your purchase uh we do have a new waifu cup coming out this week so make sure you stay tuned for that it's gonna be sick anyways let's uh let's dive into this right so first things first this live stream again as we talked about was very short only 15 minutes long so there wasn't a lot that needed to be covered with this live stream so Let's talk about the banners first. The Queen Yi banner was announced as phase one with the follow-up characters as Corin and Billy. Now, part of me was a little bit upset because I'm like, these are the free to play units. But part of me also realized like, we don't have a lot of A ranks in this game. So this isn't a bad thing. Plus Billy and Corin are pretty fun units to have in the game. I know Billy is ranked very low in a lot of tier lists, but I think Billy's playstyle is a lot of fun. Same with Corin. But um, I'm mainly excited for Queen Yi because from what her animations look like in this live stream, I'm very stoked on her because those animations look pretty freaking fire. She is going to be a stun electric character, so she's going to work really, really well with stun in general. So very excited for that. <coughs> Excuse me. But what did surprise me was that the Jane Doe banner was going to be phase two, which I was kind of sad. I wanted it to be phase one, but that gives me more time uh to save and then of course we got seth as being a part of the jane doe banner and the reason why it caught me off guard right was that seth is part of you know the police squad alongside queen Yi. so i thought that they would be together right nope that's not the case right so oh well life goes on now jane doe is going to be a physical anomaly character and alongside seth we're going to get an ambi uh as Part of that banner so i'm pretty i'm pretty stoked on that again like i'm pretty stoked in general for zenless zone zero it's doing really really well um if you guys don't know zenless zone zero in the first month of being out made like almost a hundred million dollars pretty dang good uh but these banners are going to be a tall tale of how they're going to do but with J jane doe's like whole jiggly ass physics thing um I think it's going to do pretty well, right? So, uh, we do have a bunch of new W engines, right? We got the Ice Jade Teapot W engine that's coming out alongside Queen Yi. Uh, and then we also have the uh, sh Sharpened Stinger W engine that's coming out alongside a new A rank one called Peacekeeper Specialized. Uh, as we scroll down here, we're also getting a new Bang Boo, which this Bang Boo, Officer Kui, is going to be a part of the permanent banner or bang boos, which I was pretty stoked on. I kind of got nervous a little bit thinking that they would make a separate banner of limited bang boo. So it's very good to see that they're just going to add it to the permanent banner. Very stoked on that. So, but yeah, I'm going to save all my bang boo tokens until Officer Kui comes out, right? Now, we also know that a new A rank W engine is coming out alongside of the events called the Gilded Blossom. Uh, so we're already getting free weapons. Pretty excited for that, right? Now, I don't know what this entails, right? But Undercover R&B is going to be the new special episode, which covers, you know, the, you know, police squad alongside Jane Doe and the Mountain Lion, uh, you know, reserve troop, whatever you want to call them, right? Um, and it says special episode. So to me, it comes off as this isn't going to be part of the main quest line. This is just going to be a side episode but who knows maybe it is part of the main quest line maybe i'm just over analyzing the special episode part of this right uh as we scroll down we also know that we're going to be getting uh queen Yi and jane doe specialized agent stories so catch up on your agent stories right now make sure you get those done because you know we're going to be getting some more agent stories uh end game content update we're getting an update to shiyu defense we're getting the special operation um, so that's pretty nifty. I don't know entirely what it entails. Uh, I will say this when they were going through all the updates of the events and stuff like that, it went by really, really quick. Uh, they made this a very, very fast paced 
uh, live stream. So uh, as we scroll down, we got more hollow zero challenges as well, which is again, very cool. Uh, make sure you're doing these, right? Get the currency, use them for the summons, get yourself some good, good peeps, right? Uh, we do have the list of the ZZZ events. Uh, first thing, we got the Camellia uh, Golden Week, which you can challenge the Hollow C41 during the Camellia Golden Week to gain rewards like a free A rank W engine Gilded Blossom. So this is going to be the event that you get this from, right? We got the Daily Life of a PubSec Officer also coming out, which has some decent rewards. We got our daily check-in for seven days or you know the login event so we're getting 10 um 10 singles from this event which is pretty standard now right um i think this is going to be the phase one because the phase two we're going to get the boupon one log in seven consecutive days to get 10 boupons and then of course we're also getting the uh first class customer service event as well where we're going to be getting more boupons which is dope i like free rewards right uh, make the video store more popular by helping customers repair or tune their video systems. Uh, they didn't go into a lot of gameplay looking like. Like, they just kind of gave a brief explanation. So, it's kind of hard to detail what is going to happen. I know they went through the end game stuff a little bit, but not the baseline events, right? Uh, then you got the immersive tactical drill, which I think is going to be our actual, like, fighting challenge. So, pretty stoked on that. And then... We got scene one, shot one, which is capture the true lives of people in New Eridu by capturing scenes through the photos, right? Now, of course, we went through these optimizations before in a previous video, so I'm not going to dive too deeply into them. We know that chain attacks are getting a revamp with manual chain attacks and can being able to cancel chain attacks uh, in as a function. So I think that's pretty, pretty good in general. Like, I haven't had too many problems with chain attacks. I love the chain attacks. Um, but I have seen the complaints and they make sense, right? Just because I'm not experiencing them too much, I'm not upset by it, doesn't mean that it's not possibly an issue for others. And it seems like it's a big issue for a lot of players, right? Uh, new combat missions and game modes are coming. Uh, improvements to Shiyu defense, which we already kind of knew. Uh, internet avatars for unlocked agents, playable agents in the hub areas, which is something that they keep on talking about. Uh, instead of just being wise. Hey, Bell. Excuse me, it's like 4 a.m. right now, so. <sighs> but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff coming to ZZZ 1.1. And even after that, they got a bunch of stuff that they announced, so. Overall, it seems like ZZZ version 1.1 is going to be dope. And it's coming out next week, August 14th. So be prepared. Get all your stuff done right now because, they're like, for me, I'm behind still. I got main story done. I got a bunch of side missions to do. I got to catch up on my agent stories. I got to catch up on everything, right? So make sure that you're getting this stuff done before 1.1 comes out. Get your currency and get ready to summon for either Queen Yi or Jane Doe. Who are you most excited for? And what are you most excited for with this update? I think that this update is going to be good. I like the short format. It makes it to where I can, you know, conk out a lot easier uh, at night instead of staying up until 8 a.m., shelling out videos and stuff so uh big shout out to them for keeping this up uh this whole live stream very short but anyways let me know what you think about 1.1 in the comments down below i'm very stoked on it i'm excited for jane doe that idle walk of hers with the <laughs> y'all don't know if you don't know check my twitter i posted about it i might just retweet it again because god that would make a grown man fall to his knees. And yeah, I know it's a PNG, but I don't care. Firewife, what do you think? I think she likes Jane Doe's jiggly ass too. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out Gamer Subs, of course. And as always, we will catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.